How do you stay up to date with developments in AI art? This is a question that I get from everyone in my life. You know, my mum, my dealer, some of the debt collectors, my parole officer. And I thought the thing to do now is create a video to just break down all the sources that I go through to check on if there's been a new development. I have five sources of information that I routinely check on once every two days. And just by spending about half an hour, I'm able to keep up to date on everything. So without further ado, let's go through it. Okay, so first up we got Twitter. You can do pretty well just by going to the search bar and going hashtag stable diffusion. So just by scrolling through this, we'll get a pretty good idea of what's been going on recently. The only issue is that this kind of leaves you at the mercy of Twitter. Sometimes they won't show you important posts that just recently happened. Sometimes they'll show you posts from like a month ago that you're not interested in. So what I like to do is actually use like a Twitter query, which, you know, you can read up a lot on how to do those properly. I'll put a link in the description for a, a more exhaustive source. But basically you use this sort of template where you put your query in here. So any of these hashtags in this case, um, and then you put a number of minimum favorites. So like this is the posts that people are really getting into. Those are the ones that are usually the ones that are worth looking at. Um, and then you can put a sort of date range on them. So in this case, what we want to do is like the 20th of October, and the 10th of October as the starting date. And this, when you put this in, this should give us like a pretty good idea of what's been going on recently. And because of this min faves, um, which is likes, this will mean that we, we basically won't have much craft in here. Okay, and as we can see, we get Scotty Fox, who's really good. Then there's this thing, which looks like really cool, but uh, when I looked into it, Stable Diffusion just did the background here and the rest was uh, Unreal Engine. So all the cool bits are Unreal Engine here. You've got some, um, you've got some VR stuff here where you, you can graffiti a cat onto a wall. And then after that, we start getting the waifu. I'm not gonna scroll down any further because YouTube probably won't be very happy with me, but um, you can imagine, you can imagine where that's going, I'm sure. So that's Twitter. Number two is Reddit. Personally, because I'm more interested in stable diffusion, uh, there is of course an image in Reddit, it's a bit dead, and you can tell it's dead because one of, <laughs> one of the, the hot posts is, is my post. There is also a mid-journey Reddit, which is kind of poppin', so that's definitely worth checking out. And of course, you know, you don't want to just be randomly scrolling the hot posts because Reddit doesn't know what you're looking for. Um, instead, you just go top, and then last week, and then, you know, you scroll down about 10, and then you'll, you'll basically be getting if there's anything new, and look! Check it out, there is something new. Someone made a, it looks like a, a specially specialist model that creates app icons. So that could be kind of cool. That might be something I'll do a video on actually, because it, you know, I like these, this looks really nice. There's also a blender add-on, right? Very cool. And then apparently something called, what's this, loopback? I mean, that's pretty interesting. Like, what's loopback? Okay, so that's kind of cool. Basically, it seems like what it does is it make sure that as you're generating new images through image to image from old images, that the colors stay kind of consistent. So like, you know, it starts off green and then it's slowly changing color here rather than just going crazy colors all the time. And that's, that's what it seems to be. I'll do a bit more research, but like, that seems cool. And hey, what do you know? We just learned a thing by doing the search on Reddit. It's almost as if I'm giving like good advice, right? I find Reddit's like one of the, one of the better places to be honest, Reddit's, Reddit's quite good. Okay, so Twitter's cool, Reddit's cool, but what if we want something even more cutting edge? Like, where do the ideas originate before they end up on Twitter and Reddit? Well, basically, if you're really looking for the source, you want to try Discord. In particular, there's this one Discord server called Stable Diffusion, which mostly talks about Stable Diffusion, to be fair, but it also has a lot of content to do with AI art in general. In particular, this one channel called Community Research seems to be really consistent in knowing what's upcoming and what the next big thing is going to be. Obviously, the interface is a little bit worse because you have to scroll through all these messages rather than having like a like posts. And there's no way to filter by number of likes or anything like that. Like here, right? What's this? Fast stable diffusion. I've never heard of that in my life. Um, but here it is, and it's got 900 stars. So, hey, actually, probably I should have heard of it. Okay, 50% speed increase. That seems pretty cool. Is this just using X-formers? Like, maybe this is just using X-formers, but like, I don't know. 
maybe it's using some other crazy thing. You can combine it with X formers to get like 100% speed crits. Um, who knows? Okay, and check out this Ulenian guy. He's just been doing some experimenting and he's got this hypothesis that, hey, the more steps you give to the model, the better it can generate hands. That's an interesting hypothesis. That's actually really cool because the hand thing, the whole hand thing is a huge mystery. So like, this is really cool. <laughs> and you won't see this being discussed anywhere else. It's the kind of thing that maybe if someone else does some more experiments, it might end up in, on Reddit or Twitter in like a week and a half. And check this out, stable diffusion based image compression. See, none of this I've heard of, but that's really cool. Where are the results? Where are the results? Give me those graphs. Where are those graphs? Okay, so I wanted some graphs, but instead they're giving us some visual results. This is JPEG compression. This is the ground truth. And this is stable diffusion compression, which I think we can agree that it's a lot better than the JPEG. <laughs> right? That's really cool. I don't know anything about image compression, but it seems like that could be really useful and like monetizable maybe. I don't know. So in conclusion, this community research channel, the Stable Diffusion Discord is like a gold mine. Speaking of discords, another place where I go for information is the Koi Boy Discord, which you can join with the link in the description. Um, it's not quite as poppin' as the community research board of Stable Diffusion, but uh, pretty much all the videos that I've made in the past like week and a half started with a conversation I was having with someone on this Discord. So asking questions here, I don't know if it'll help you, but it definitely helped me a lot. So, so as we've been progressing through this list, we've kind of been getting more and more technical and more and more cutting edge. That's sort of how the progression's gone. And also sort of harder to pass and harder to read. And this, the fifth one, also carries on that trend by being the most technical and the most cutting edge. So what you do is you go to Google Scholar and then you type in the name of a paper that you know exists. In this case, it's the Dream Booth paper. Like a paper that you know exists and is good. And then what you do is you find any papers that have cited that paper. So, and these are papers that sometimes they haven't even finished the review process. And basically, most of this you won't find on Reddit. Now, a lot of them won't be that interesting. Like, I already sort of scrolled through some of these. There was this one called Dali Urban. What they were trying to do is they were trying to use Dali to, like, imagine good urban design possibilities. So, for instance, they got it to, like, in-paint a safe intersection here. I don't think, I think this is a bit janky and weird. I don't think, I don't know if that's a good application. Although I haven't read the paper properly. But sometimes you do find these little gems, right? Like, check this out. Content-based search for deep generative models. They provided all these different ways to search through a database of different models to find the model that is most effective for you. And they found that you can use text, you can use images, you can use sketches, or you can even use a model itself to search through the space of all the models to find a similar model that exists already. And I think that's pretty cool. You know, that's something that could be really useful and effective. Okay, so that's all five. And generally what I'll do is once every two days, I'll go through the first three. I'll like scroll Twitter for 10 minutes, scroll Reddit for 10 minutes, check out the community research discord for 10 minutes, check out the Koi Boy discord, maybe for another 10 minutes. And then that's it. You know, at that point I'll be up to date on basically what's happened in the last three to four days. Um, a really helpful thing I've, I've found is to set a timer when doing these, because obviously, a lot of these websites are designed to sort of suck you in. So you've got to be careful with that. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any other places that you search, please let me know about it in the Discord or in the comments somewhere because I'm always looking for ways to improve my workflow. Um, so yeah.